What's up everybody, Nate here with another update on the build, but first, I have a very important question for you guys. I am struggling with the overall height of this rig and what I should do. I would love to know your opinion on what you think and why in the comments down below. Right now, I am sitting at 53 and three quarters of an inch to the top of my frame here. This is gonna sag a little bit once we get all the weight and the box and everything on it, but that's pretty close to what it's gonna be. It might sag an inch, it might sag four, I don't really know. So, 53 and three quarter. There on my subframe over here, this adds another 10 inches. I got four inch walls here and six inch here. So 10 inches, so that's 63 and three quarter inch combined uh, to the base of my walls here. And then my walls, I built for seven foot six interior height because I've got an 18 inch drop down bed in the front. Um, I might be able to make that a little smaller, but I'm not sure. Anyway, that is 93 and three quarters. So overall height just to the roof is 13 foot. Now I've got a 15 inch tall AC, so call it 14 six. I'm at the legal limit there with not much wiggle room. So I can cut some stuff down a little bit. I might be able to do something different with the AC. I don't know. But 14.6 is pretty big. A little uncomfortable with that. For instance, the biggest earth roamer, the LT, 13 foot overall max height. It's pretty solid. That's a big machine too. Um, there's a couple reasons I went with this size. So mainly on the walls, I wanted 7.6 inside. So I can have six foot of clearance under the bed and I can walk under the bed to the dinette without having any problems hitting my head or whatever. Also gives me a pretty nice couch height so I can sit and have a comfortable back of the couch height level. I can drop the bed all the way down and I can still sit up in bed without hitting my head. Um, I can put the bed part way up, sit under the bed on the couch and still work while somebody else sleeps above Obviously you can't sit up in both sections at the same time, but one or the other, somebody laying down, somebody sitting below. That was my whole reasoning with going seven, six on the inside. Plus, this is a big rig, I wanted headroom. I didn't want that like low, kind of small boxy feeling. So that was where I went there. Um, I've got a couple options. One, I can take some uh, six or 10 or 12 inches off the top there and just drop that top bar back down. Um, it's not really gonna affect too much. It'll probably be two days worth of work to get that done on all four walls, but that's one option. Um, the other option would be using a single AC unit on the cab and ducting the AC and the air into the box. Um, got plenty of room on the roof of the cab. I could do it. That would give me one AC for the cab and the box. It's 15,500 BTUs, it's plenty of power. I'm just not sure if that's something that I wanna do or not. There are some compromises there and some complications, but that might be worth it. That would drop me down to 13 overall, maybe 13.6 overall. It would give me a little more room and there I'm kinda of comfortable with 13.6. Um, I could do a combination of both. I could drop the roof and drop the AC. Um, or maybe do something super weird, like try and find a spot I could hide a ductless um, unit. I don't really wanna go there. Uh, they're just kinda not really ready for this kind of stuff yet. Um, and I don't have a good place to put the condenser unit that doesn't make it look like an afterthought. I don't want it hanging off the back of my unit being all hokey. Um, I don't really have room in the front I could maybe put it underneath somewhere, but that would be kind of goofy too, and it would be exposed to a lot of the elements. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. One, overall height, what your maximum that you guys think that should be. And two, how would you get there? Would you cut some off the roof? Would you change the AC? Or something I haven't even thought of. Um, and if you guys do have an FM TV and you have been off-roading it, let me know. Let me know what's, what's happened. Like if you hit stuff, or do you tend to go out more wide open places and the size isn't that big of a deal? I kind of feel like the width is gonna be more restrictive than the height, but um, you know, 14.6 is pretty big. That's classic motorhome style. Um, 
that, that's big. I, I don't know. I'm just not sure there yet. And I'm at the point where I can do this stuff. So I really need your guys' help on that. Um, besides that, not a whole lot's been happening to the truck. Um, the shop's been pretty busy here the last couple weeks. Um, I took a little vacation. So not a whole lot going on there. But this is super exciting. These are those slide out trays. And I've got to order some more rollers. But this one is done. So check this out. This comes out nice and easy. I don't have my back roller on yet, so I'm just gonna stop that right about there. Now, this is just about six feet and some change. Um, this is gonna have wood decking on it, so I'm gonna have three quarter inch wood on top of this. There's three of these slide outs. This is the center one. Um, the rear one's a little bigger. The front one by the door is a little bigger. But how cool is this? Let me see if I can get this all in a shot. So this is gonna be a 10 foot wide by six plus feet long slide out deck. It's gonna go half the length of the habitat. Now, if you guys watched the earlier videos, at first we had some issues with these things kind of flexing a little bit, being a little too much like a diving board. So we ended up adding some half inch by three inch material here all the way around the frame. And I'm just gonna put my weight on it here. And this just does not flex at all. It actually, when we put weight on it earlier, um, it lifted the whole subframe up off of the racks that it was on. This entire box just went boop. So these do not flex at all. We've got this laid out to put some wood on here and they just slide back in super easy and hide in under here and we're going to work on uh, clipping those in so they don't move adding a little support in the back so it doesn't rattle and um, this one actually over the door is going to pin out in some different positions so we'll have ladder access from a couple different sides with this big deck deployed so i'm super excited about that we weren't 100% sure that that was gonna fix it, but it absolutely did. So now the other two are built. All our adjusting points in there are built so we can put them all out at the end and get them all exactly level. Everything's done, I just gotta order some more rollers from McMaster Car. So that is the biggest update I've got for you. Um, in that regard, there's not a whole lot new on the truck that's been done uh, since the last video. I'm working on some of the airlines and rerouting some of that from the hoses and um, just kind of, I think if the shop still stays busy, I'm going to start on the inside. Um, since I've got some time, work slowed down a little bit too. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So let me know what you guys think about the height. I really appreciate your input um, and I could really use the help on that. And so yeah, overall height, why and how would you get there? Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day.